Thanks, Okemote, okay, and on Spot News. Nigeria's technical advisor, Gennad Raw, has said that Nigeria will beat South Africa and dedicate the victory to the memory of the late Super Eagles coach, Stephen Keshe. Raw reiterates his earlier statement that he would respond to the Bafana Bafana boasting on the pitch, stressing that he would rather prepare his players than to play mind's game. Keshe, who led the Super Eagles to win the AFCON in South Africa in 2013, died in June 2016 and also won the AFCON as a player in 1994. On his young team, he expresses confidence in the ability of the boys to get better things done according to the plan, adding that they will blend and mature with time. He believes South Africa will be tough, but the Super Eagles will overcome. Former Manchester United striker Andrew Cole is looking forward to a life in football again and is recovering from a kidney transplant following a two-year battle while well, Ines is going well. The 45-year-old who won the treble with the Red Devils 18 years ago underwent surgery as the Manchester Royal Infirmary in April as part of his treatment for focal segmental glomerulus sclerosis, a condition which causes carrying of kidneys as his 28-year-old nephew Alexander provided the donor. Cole initially suffered kidney failure in June 2015 as a result of contracting an airborne virus and he spent three weeks in hospital undergoing a kidney biopsy and dialysis. Andrew Cole is now looking forward to coaching and has already been lined up as assistant manager to Brian Robson for the United Legends two-leg game against Barcelona at the Camp Nou in June and Old Trafford in September. Cole win five Premier League titles as well as Champions League and FA Cup in his 19 years as professional footballer. And on tennis, world number one Andy Murray will carry the lesson of last year's U.S. Open quarterfinal defeat to Carl Nishikori into today's French Open last eight clash against the Japanese. The 28-year-old has said, Moria was tipped to seal the U.S. Open title in 2016 after winning the Webley Day and an Olympic gold medal, but Nishikori stunned the Britain in an intense five-set match. While Nishikori has no recollection about the victory, Moria had no problem remembering the match. Former Webley Day champion Goran Ivan Nishibish has backed the Britain to beat Nishikori. That's it on spot. Let's join Ogali for the top story. Thanks, Anne. And with that story, we come to the end of today's bulletin. But before we go, a quick recap of our top stories. As part of efforts to curb corruption in the country, the Minister of Finance, Kemi Adeonshu, has said the government is working to block avenues for looting. The stock market returned to losses on Tuesday after two weeks of massive gains. U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement has been criticized by major global powers. And on spot, former Manchester United striker Andrew Cole is looking forward to a life in football again as he recovers from a kidney transplant. You can follow us on our social media platform by visiting our website www.abnchannel.net or follow us on Twitter at ABN Channels, like us on Facebook at ABN TV and also subscribe to our YouTube channel at African Broadcasting Network. Thanks for watching.